All right. Um, thank y'all for turning back in, coming back out to the Gift from God Worship Center, right here in Alberta, Virginia. Where we where we teach the truth and the hard truth of the Word of God. So I want to give the Lord God a round of applause for giving us another day of living, another day of worship service in his name, and being able to walk before him again to be that perfect in the name of Jesus the Christ. All right, so... Uh, we're going to get back started with our lesson again on tonight. Um, I still haven't forgot about Genesis. I think we're on which chapter? 16. 16? 16. We still on 16? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. So, um, anybody have anything quickly they like to... Uh, Hey, before we get started real quick, we can do that real quick. If you have anything on your heart, mind, soul, and spirit real quick. We're holding New Testament, Old Testament readings. Unless you got something you definitely want to put out or something. I'll just do a quick song. Okay. <coughs> Uh, first, give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this day. We are thankful that the Lord God has brought us into his house of prayer. We are thankful that the Lord God has brought us down the dangerous highways, that he had given us his traveling grace and mercy, that he continues to cover us and keep us and bless us and heal us, provide for us, be our everything. We are thankful to the Lord God Almighty. I love to praise him. I love to praise Him. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His holy name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise Him. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His holy name. He's my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. He's the will. He is the will in the middle of the will. I know he'll never, never let me down. He's just the jewel that I have found. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise his name. I love to praise his. I love to praise his. I love to praise his holy name. Praise the Lord God. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord God. Bless the Lord God. We acknowledge our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are acknowledge that He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the omnipotent creator. Amen. He is the creator of the earth 
and the heavens. He is the creator of all galaxies. Amen. He is the creator of, of all that is. He is the creator of everything. He is the lover of our souls. He is our way maker. He is our life, our joy, and our peace. We bless the Lord God on this day. We bless the Lord God that he is with us continually. He is with us as we come and as we go. He is with us as we come into his service and give him praise, honor, and glory. And we are thankful for the Lord God on this day. We are thankful to the Lord God for our pastor who decreases. And boy, you don't want to let him get the increase. <laughs> Bless the Lord God, for the Spirit of the Lord is present. And we thank the Lord God for each and every thing that he does, each and every one that he blesses, each and every one that he keeps. We are thankful to the Lord God for the service again, and we ask him to continue to give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that he continues to lead God and direct, direct us, and that he continues to allow us also to decrease so that we may have an open mind and an open spirit to receive what thus says the Lord. Bless the Lord God. In Jesus' name, we thank him and we bless him and we say, Amen. 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 I'm not going to keep y'all long today. I didn't have too much of a lesson for today because I've had so many messages coming so fast, I don't know which one to do. So it seems I'm getting piled up with messages. So that may sound like to me I need to go faster. Or oh, I need to add more days for videos. I ain't gonna forget what you said last week. What's that? You said that the Lord told you that you better work quick. I gotta work quicker. I gotta work quick. I'm gonna have to add another day. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to add another day for a message because they're coming fast than I can put out on Friday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we still gotta finish Genesis. I got to do this. Um, Rich man of the devil. Mm -hmm. I might try to do that tonight, some of it. Mm -hmm. But I got another message right now that I just gathered. And I got 300 in my notebook I ain't touched yet. Mm. <laughs> and and, and it's almost like I don't need none of them. Mm. I don't need to have anything written down, nothing. Right. The only reason we read or have someone read the scriptures and so people can follow along so they can see I'm just not making this stuff up. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of having the scriptures read mm -hmm. so people can follow along. But I can preach all day with no notes. Mm -hmm. No nothing. The only time I need the scripture is for a what? A witness. Mm -hmm. You know, to witness so that people can see what we say. Mm -hmm. So they can follow along because sometimes people be, what we said with our Bible conference is what? He'll say they have a lot of stuff they have heard, but they're not sure if it's true. They believe it's true mm -hmm. based on from they heard somebody say it, mm -hmm. but they don't study it or may have not had time to study it to see if what they were saying was true or not. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to do this rich man of God because I've been having to do that for a minute. Um, you got one of those things right there too. I need to ask on open. I'll, I'll look. Um, I don't think it's not over there. But you can check. I don't think so. I might need to go and find some more of them. You can 
take this one right here. Or just bring the whole bundle or whatever. Yeah, just bring another one if you see one up there. Another one? Yeah. I got one right here. You can use this one. You can use this one. Some for Minister Tony Tate. I got one on my table. Tony Tate, I just need one of them. Yeah, but you don't need one. You don't have to be reading from one. Just get the whole bundle. Oh, so you don't want to Yeah. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, so, um, I'll just follow y'all my Bible because I pretty much know what, this, what it's saying in a way. But it's still good to go along because you learn something new every time you read the Bible. Mm hmm. Right. That's why I was telling people when you get and I need to do a lesson too on how to read the Bible. That's what I was just thinking about the day too. On how to read the Bible. What do you think the first thing you need to do to be able to read the Bible? What's the very first thing you think you need to do before you go read the Bible? Pray. Pray. Mm -hmm. You need to pray. That's the first thing you need to do. Now why you need why you don't you need to pray when you go to school and read that books? Why you don't need to pray that? That's a good answer. <laughs> That's a good answer. As you go right in your classroom, teach you open your books up. You get right into your books and they start teaching. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to do that with the Bible though? Why do you need to pray when you read the Bible though? What's so special about that? Why you got to pray? Why you just can't read that and understand it? You know, if you're in 12th grade you, you, and you got all A's, so you understand this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you need to pray when you read the Bible? What's the difference about the understanding that you cannot understand just what regular uh, teaching in the U.S.? Didn't you say you had to be in your second mind or something like that? Yes. <laughs> in your what? <laughs> I don't know what you yeah. had called it. Your spiritual mind. Yeah. Your spiritual mind. <laughs> Yeah, you're not using your common mind, you're using your spiritual mind. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of our lesson from last week, uh, how the word said that the people saw, right. but they didn't see. They didn't see. Mm -hmm. You read it, you look at it, you can read the words because you educate, because of your education, mm -hmm. how to pronounce words. Mm -hmm. You can read the words, but you might not understand what it's saying. Right. So. Because it's holy. It's it's right. a holiness to the word. So what do you think the second thing you might need to do then? After praying? Yeah. My sales will make me a little list. After you pray, you should be what? What kind of life should you be living? Clean. Give me the other word. Start with the H. Holy. Holy. Yeah. You need to be ye holy. You need to be striving to serve God. Why? Because he said what? He don't give what's holy to the dogs. He don't. If you say this is a holy Bible, and you looking for understanding in it, then you need to what? Be ye holy. Mm -hmm. Right? You need to be ye holy. You need to pray. You need to be ye holy. You can't be doing things in the world that's not of God because then you're not going to understand what you're reading. Just ain't gonna, it, 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 it's not going to flow like that. And I've been through those things 11, 12 times. I think I lost count now. Mm -hmm. And every time I read, it looks like I'm seeing more stuff unfold. Mm -hmm. Like we was talking about last week, go back to your Psalm 24. Psalm Read the last part of that again. We read last week, and you were saying you saw. Tell us what you saw. Was it Psalm 24? Yeah, it was um, verse... Nine. Nine? Uh-huh. Yeah, verse 
Psalms 24, verse 9. Right. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Which you saw, you saw? I said I saw that it was the eyes. Open your eyes. Uh-huh. It was saying, lift up your heads, O uh -huh. ye gates. And you, and you and said it was talking about the people, right? Yeah, it was talking about the people, how right. they need to open their eyes. Right. The gates is like, because sometimes they say the mm -hmm. gates is like your eyes, the eyes to your to your soul or something, right. something to that effect. Right. Like. That's a part of it. Like, I see, I see mm -hmm. that poster, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's something like beyond the poster. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, what they call it, a. Uh, uh, they call it some type of cold puzzle, covert puzzle, they call mm -hmm. it. I right. forget the name of it. Uh -huh. So it's something like a saint or something. What is that thing? Are you sure? Thing. It was right on my on the tip of my tongue. A cipher. Okay. You know how they say you, you got a cipher, you got to right. break the code or something uh -huh. like that? Right. So lift up your, <coughs> your heads or mm -hmm. your gates. Mm -hmm. And then how we said last week where it said the people see, but mm -hmm. they don't see. Right. So lift up your heads, mm -hmm. O ye gates. Right. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. Right. And the king of glory shall come in. Uh-huh. Like, it all, oh, this is what the Lord gave me today. Uh-huh. Uh, you know how sometimes if you go to somebody's office and you open that door and then you knock on it? Mm -hmm. And that ain't the right way to do it. That is... You're just like you're out of order or something. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to knock on the door and wait for somebody to answer before right. you just go in. Right. So you sometimes, you like, you open the door and then knock on it. Right. The person might not have been ready to receive you. Right. But you went, went in uh, on your own. Right. Like, knock uh -huh. and the door shall be opened. Right. That's the order of it. Right. It means that open the door and then knock on it. Uh -huh. So it's like telling us to get in order mm -hmm. with, you know, with with the word. Right. That's what I saw. Right. And that's good because, like I said, I'm seeing stuff like I'm saying sometimes past that. Mm -hmm. When I see the gates spiritually, I'm seeing like the Lord talked with Ezekiel. He said, reach your hand into the wall. Mm -hmm. And when he reached into the wall, he started seeing abominable things you know that the people was doing so he mm -hmm. he's seeing what visions mm -hmm. you see in dimensions and stuff opening mm -hmm. and closing mm -hmm. that's why we had to think about the gates mm -hmm. of hell mm -hmm. and the gates of what yeah. everything opens up when the lord comes like the wind the Beyond what we have, mm -hmm. beyond what we think that we think that we think we know all of God, we do not. Mm -hmm. We only know what he has given us according to this earth. Mm -hmm. So there's out of elements that, that opens mm -hmm. for God that we don't even have a, can't even imagine to talk about what he's saying. Right. You, don't, you don't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of things that acknowledge God, mm -hmm. not just us. Mm -hmm. And that, that was another thing I got also passed about the everlasting doors. To me, it was talking about our hearts. Right. Again, because, you know, open your heart and the Lord can come in. Right. So ever changing uh -huh. means that we're always, we're always changing our minds. Right. You know, you don't, you're so wishy-washy mm -hmm. that the Lord even said in Revelation that you're lukewarm. Right. You know, and, and then I spew you out of my mouth. Uh -huh. You know, because you can't even make up your mind right. about which way you want to go. Which way, what you going to do today. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Every time you read, you're going to see more and more past. Like I said, you're going to go past the carnal thing. You're going to mm -hmm. go into some spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go past that spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. And then until you start getting into the stuff of Daniel and all of them, when they start seeing the what? The, vision. the visions. Mm -hmm. The actual thing that I can tell you that you're about to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it don't make sense to people. Right. <laughs> it don't make sense. 
Okay, so read that Psalm 24 again real quick for me. The verse or this song? Start with verse 1. Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Verse 2. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Verse 3. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Verse 4. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Uh -huh. Verse 5. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. Verse 6. This is the generation of them that seek him. Read that verse 1 again, though. So that's what you might get that. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I be seeing when I'm seeing this. Read that verse 1. So I'm seeing what in that? Verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So he's talking about everything that happens. Everything that goes on. Not just what? Man. Mm -hmm. Not just mankind. Mm -hmm. And then I was even asking myself the other day, do the wind have a heart? Mm. Do the dirt have a heart? You can go to Romans for that, Pastor. Do the blood <laughs> have a heart? Uh, uh oh. So he's saying everything in its order follows my order so it has to have some type of what? Life. Life. It has to have some type of life. And that don't mean it gotta be a red thing like we got. Red, you don't have just like <laughs> the, the blood of a tree. Uh -huh. What color is it? Uh, like brown or Yellow something. Or something. <laughs> Yellow. Sap. Sap. Yeah. <laughs> Sap. yeah. That, that's it's blood. Mm -hmm. So like I'm saying, it's it's all kind of elements of things when you um when you talking about the Lord God Almighty. Because mm. like I said, it could have been billions of things going on before we got here. Right. We don't know. But anyway, um, back to Biden. Somebody need to call him on the phone mm -hmm. because I think he's going a little bit too far. Um, I don't know if y'all keep up with that stuff or not, but, you know, I'm watching it because I'm looking for who? The death angel. And the who else? The copycat of Christ? The Antichrist. The Antichrist. So I'm watching it because I'm watching for this what? Antichrist. Antichrist. And I'm watching for what? The world's and. system. Oh. I'm watching for the world's system. So I'm watching them because it's my what? The Lord said, when the watchman, mm -hmm. he said, when the watchman, so I'm, if I'm doing what? I'm doing what now? I'm in what? I'm doing what? Watching. watching. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a what? A watchman. A watchman. Mm -hmm. So now I'm watching them and I'm keeping the eye on this thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to watch this U.S. And what we said last time, NATO. Mm -hmm. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to do what? They're trying to dominate what? The world. They're trying to make everybody follow their... Uh, democratic system. Democratic system. Let me try this thing one more time.
word for a minute. No, that's all right. Mm-hmm. It ain't gonna change nothing. No, it's on. Yeah, it ain't gonna change nothing. But anyway, we're watching for what we're just saying. The world system. The world system is what we're watching for right now. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people are not paying attention to it, but ain't their assignment, it's my assignment. Mm -hmm. And it might be somebody else's assignment to watch for what? The world system. And that world system is going to become what? The, the Antichrist. Antichrist. The leader of it is going to become the Antichrist. And we're saying just like Christ, mm -hmm. just like Christ has a what? Body. A body. Mm -hmm. The Antichrist is going to have a what? A body. A body. It's going to be a body of people. Mm -hmm. So um, what I was watching this week is, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but China made their decision. Did y'all see that? Mm-mm. I did. They made their decision who they was gonna go with. Mm. That's what everybody what we talked about about a month ago. Mm -hmm. Everybody waited to see who China side with. The US or Russia. Or Russia. Mm -hmm. And China don't want to get the sanctions. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> China don't want to get the sanctions like they're doing to Russia, so China got to make a decision. So China made their decision <laughs> who they were going to side with. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what the I ain't got no mic this week. Well, I know this one ain't going to work. Give me one of those. Mm -hmm. This one ain't going to do nothing right here. Well, all is well, all is well, check. All is well. All is well. So, um, China made their decision, and who y'all think they went with? <laughs> Bring me one of those mics, too, <clears throat> so we can have two. Well, if you're saying they don't want the sanctions, that just means they're deciding. Uh-huh. You're saying what now? If they don't want the sanctions, they're most likely signing with the United States, with NATO. Ten minutes or something, I don't know. You said China going with who? United States. NATO. Uh-huh. Well, actually, they decided to go against the sanctions. Uh-oh. They decided to go against the sanctions. All right. Okay. And I was watching this stuff, and even before we had me in the bed, I'm troubled by this stuff. Mm. Not that I'm so much worried about, you know, because like I said, you don't want a, 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 a particular group of people trying to dominate the world. Right. Because it's going to bring forth what? War. Huh? Chaos. The Antichrist. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring forth that Antichrist that we're looking for, that Antichrist going to come up. And when the Antichrist come out, you know there's going to be a what? One third of the population going to die. Mm. So you know all that stuff got to happen. So this thing was kind of like bothering me a little bit to see these people try to take over. Because now I'm seeing scripture unfold. Because mm -hmm. I'm a what? 
What? A watch. <laughs> now I'm seeing this stuff unfold. I'm like, hold on, somebody got to stop this thing. Mm. I'm like, this thing need to slow down, guys. This thing need to slow, to slow this thing down. This thing coming apart up. Because a lot of us think that we're supposed to be dead for this thing to take place. Mm. A lot of people saying, this thing ain't supposed to happen in my time. Mm. We're supposed to be dead and gone when this stuff happens. This stuff unfolding right now. Mm. So China decides they're going to go with who? Russia. They go with Russia. <laughs> Those folks standing against the sanctions. I'm like, man, I had a big relief. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, if, I, if, if they don't stop NATO, then these folks will try to dominate the world and put everybody under some type of rulership. But that's the next thing that got to happen. Mm. Once you get world domination, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody starts killing off people, who, who, who coming to your aid? Who coming to the aid? Everybody too afraid to help. Nobody ain't coming. So now we read in scripture in Revelation, the Lord talked about the beast. But the beast had who on its back? The now I had ten what? The ten kings. It had ten kings that the Lord was gonna put in their heart to do what? To turn against, against the what? The the leader. The beast. Yeah. You're gonna turn against the beast. Mm -hmm. Let's find that real quick. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I see I ain't getting none of stuff in my notes right. Where, what are we, are we looking for? Where the, the, the third ten part? nations, the ten kings, gonna be on her, and the Lord gonna put in their heart to burn her with fire. Like we're at 18. 18 what? Mm. Just 17, 16. Um, 18, 18? 17, 16. Let's try 17, 17 16, 16 first. 17, 16 first. Mm. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. Yeah, now, a lot of people don't know how important this stuff is when we talk about right now. This stuff is very important right now when we talk about right now. This stuff gonna happen before you die. Go wait now. Mm -hmm. 17, 16, what say what now? Oh, you want to go to 15? What 15 say? Verse 15, Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest, uh -huh. where the whore sitteth, our peoples uh -huh. and multitudes and nations uh -huh. and tongues. And what now? Our peoples. What we just said, NATO, the Antichrist world system is what? A person? Peoples. He said peoples. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of them. What are you saying? Keep reading. Verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, uh -huh. these shall hate the whore. They shall what? Hate the whore. What Russia doing right now with the United States? How they feel about them? Hate them. They what? Hate them. They hate the whore. Mm -hmm. So you better hope that you living in the United States. You better hope that this ain't the Antichrist. Why you living here in uh? Cause right now, when Christ went up on that mountain, Satan said, "If you will bow down to me, I will give you what? All uh, what you see. The riches of the world." Who got the riches of the world? Satan. The U.S. Mm -hmm. 
Tell you, tell you. <laughs> they got the richest of the world right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at everybody's GDP, seeing what everybody got, what they're doing or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm checking everything. Mm -hmm. Check, see what money you got, see how much your economy, see I'm checking, I'm checking everything. Mm -hmm. I'm going to know who the Antichrist is. It's going to be one of the two. We're at the point now where we can decide between the two. Mm -hmm. Which one it is now. Mm -hmm. That's how close we is now. We so close now that there ain't even hardly no more discussion who the Antichrist is. It's, it's, it's like now, it's one or the other. Mm -hmm. It ain't no Trump, Biden, nothing. No, it's a group of folks. Mm -hmm. It's a United Nations. Mm -hmm. Read that again. Verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sowest upon the beast, uh -huh. these shall hate the whore. They shall what? Hate the whore. China gone with Russia. How many is that? Two. How many he said will be there? Ten. Ten. What are the other eight? If that's the case. One, two. Who else? Well, it's a couple that we already talked about. We talked about Venezuela. Venezuela. Where they at? Oh, right right there. That's how many? Three. That's three already. You don't want to know who the temple going to be. Temple going to scare everybody. The temple is going to scare everybody. Well, who is it? Or make you wet on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> one, China one, Russia two, oh, Venezuela is three. I just had a revelation. <laughs> I just had a revelation on who the temple could possibly be. Who? Israel. Israel already gone. Don't give a care. Israel in now. <laughs> and that's what the United States been protecting for years. Right. That's what I'm saying. Now Israel halfway not even said, I don't, I don't denounce Putin war with Ukraine. That's what they said. Uh -huh. They said, I don't denounce, what are they at? <laughs> right here? Uh -huh. They said, I don't denounce Russia war with Ukraine. One, two, China, Russia, Venezuela. Law if Israel go, mm. that's four. One, two, three, four. How many laws have gonna be on? Ten. Ten. He gave you the number. Mm -hmm. Who else already go? We had said um, Cuba, and then. Um, I don't, I don't know. What are you at? Cuba is over near where Venezuela in that area. Like off of Florida. Somewhere. I'm looking for India. Oh, India. Yeah, India. We had said that India. What are you at anyway? Why are you looking here? They must be right in here somewhere. India. What my number said? Italy. I don't see it, but I think it's somewhere right in here. Yeah, India should be over there somewhere. Yeah. So you already know, um, we think about Iran and Kuwait. Who do you think they're going to go with, United States or Russia? Uh, I don't know. They always saying they need Russia for what? For that oil? For Iran, oh. uh, one of them. Mm -hmm. I had to go back and look that up again. Mm -hmm. But they said because the United States is trying to sanction Russia. Now they don't know what they're gonna do with Iran and Kuwait or something like that. Mm -hmm. Cause they need Russia on there. Now the Russia not even talking. Russia trying to cut you off from everything. Mm -hmm. Now I'm I'm gonna get the rest of them, the other. But the shocker is gonna be the number ten. What number ten gonna be Canada then? Huh? Canada. It's going to be somebody going to be scared. Because we already know that they got the wall up at Mexico. Yep. So you already can't them out. So you know we can't flee there. You can't go, you can't go to Mexico. So the only other place to go is north. And right. then if you if you can't go north, then... You're done. You're done. And that's the one thing about the United States. You got nowhere to flee to. Nowhere. You got nowhere to flee. Anybody want to go to Virginia Beach, we two hours away. Mm -hmm. You can get there if you make it there. Where are you going after you get there? That's the question. You're better off going this way, that way. 
And this way is the back of what? What's the back? Of, what's back here? Um, back there you got Japan. Who? Uh, Japan and Who? Russia. Japan. Who? Japan. Who? Japan. Who? Russia. That's gonna be your frightening power right there. <laughs> That's gonna be with the frightening one. If Japan, mm. if Japan turn, right, because they can remember Hiroshima. <laughs> right. If Japan turn, that's what all these folks are talking about now. I was listening to all the African nations last night talking about how the U.S. has a double standard, mm -hmm. like nobody can see. Mm -hmm. Like they go over and say all these folks. They talk about the news now. All these folks rush and kill or whatever. That's what they were saying. I'm just thinking about a lot now. Listen to what they're saying. During the Afghanistan war started by the U.S. Mm. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. That's what all these other countries, they, these folks in the U.S., all these countries now, that's what they're saying. Who the, who the United States said this war is? Who did the United States that started that war? Russia. Russia. Mm -hmm. Look what they say. During the Afghanistan war started by the U.S. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. And then they had all them folks in there the other week that voted. Mm -hmm. And like half of them voted against the United States. Mm -hmm. Like almost 70 or something like that. Like 70 countries voted against the United States and NATO. Mm -hmm. 70 countries. During the Afghanistan war, started by the U.S., more than 30,000 innocent civilians was killed. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. They're saying the U.S. is two faces or got a double standard when it comes to them doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And then they was talking about last night how the U.S. went in and killed Gaddafi. Because mm -hmm. they were supposed to go over there as a peacekeeping. They let them in as a peacekeeper, mm -hmm. but when they went in as a peacekeeper, they did what? Try to take over. They went in and tried to kill Gaddafi and kill Gaddafi, and they supposed to be there for a peace just to protect the people. Mm -hmm. So they was talking about that last night, the African countries. Mm -hmm. That's what I was just thinking about, Africa. Yeah, but all these folks getting involved in this thing now. Mm -hmm. Because the United States trying to, well not United States, NATO trying to sh sanction Russia. And Russia got too much stuff going on right here. What I'm saying? What? Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right here. Mm -hmm. They got too much stuff going on right here. And you guys are way over there. Mm -hmm. During the Afghanistan war, started by the U.S., more than 30,000 innocent civilians was killed, and about 11 million people have become refugees. Mm. 11, what? Million. Mm. That's more than what's happening in Russia right now. Mm. I mean, Ukraine. Countless Afghanistans were killed. Thousands of um, Abadus or something was already old when the U.S. forces arrived in towns many years ago. So they got some other names here. I don't know what those names are. Mm -hmm. But they were just saying how many people was killed by the U.S. By the U.S. Mm -hmm. Trying to take down who? I'm Kaido, or whatever they was doing. Mm -hmm. So like I said, it's nothing wrong with, like I'm saying, what I'm seeing when people talking about the war, it's just that the thing I don't like, because I'm a minister, I don't like hypocrites. Mm -hmm. I don't like people saying that somebody else can't do some of the same stuff you just did. Mm -hmm. You don't make you a hypocrite. Right. It's scriptural. I don't like stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, so that's what we at now. So like I said, we got ten nations that might come against this Antichrist. Whoever it is. Mm -hmm. 
if it end up being Russia, mm -hmm. what if it end up being Russia and China mm -hmm. and Israel mm -hmm. and Japan? What if they all come together and they end up being the Antichrist? I'm not worried now why. Because the Lord said it's going to be ten nations that are going to be on that are going to take her down. Mm -hmm. Anyway, read that scripture again. Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. Uh -huh. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, uh -huh. these shall hate the whore, uh -huh. and shall make her desolate, and, make, uh -huh. and shall eat her flesh, uh -huh. and burn her with fire. Uh -huh. Verse 17. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will. What happened? God. He put in their what? In their hearts. He changed their minds. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm scared about Japan. Mm -hmm. The Lord said he put in their what? Read that again. Verse 17. For God had put in their hearts uh -huh. to fulfill his will. To fulfill what? His will. Who, he said, I rule in the kingdom of men. That's what we be saying? Mm -hmm. He said, most high God said, I rule in the kingdom of men. Mm -hmm. No matter how much power you have. Right. If you... Song. Huh? And then the Psalm 24 just said, the Lord said the earth is here. The earth is here. Mm -hmm. Even if NATO, let's say NATO, Canada, Alaska, Mexico, uh, Brazil, let's say everybody get together and have a one world order. Mm. Let's say, all, let's say they, they go against everything we say it'd be a one world order. Mm -hmm. What else scripture just said, the Lord said he's going to do what? Change the heart. He's going to have 10 kingdoms. Mm -hmm. The whole world if the whole world come into one world order. So now y'all ain't got to be afraid of the new world order. Well, you do kind of. Because you're going to take part in it. You got to worry about where you're going to take part in it, though. Mm -hmm. And most likely you are. Mm -hmm. So even if there become a one world order. That's why I say I don't need to take no shot. I don't need no gas. I don't need no driver's license. I don't need no car. Mm -hmm. Got no other stuff got to take place. Mm -hmm. And I know I got to be what? Exempt from the stuff. Even if there become a one world order, which we already know is going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's already scripture is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Even if we have the one world order, the Lord said he got ten kingdoms that are going to take those things down. Mm -hmm. So now you worry too much. Right. You got ten kingdoms that's going to tear those things down. I don't know which ten is going to be. I'm scared about Japan right now, though, mm -hmm. more than anybody, because they like the first people that the U.S. dropped a what? Oh. A bomb on. So I'm scared more about Japan than anything. Mm -hmm. And them joker was like Japanese bees or something. Like you go outside and get a Japanese bees nest or something. Mm -hmm. You gotta get some hot shots for them jokers. <laughs> They don't know how to stop. <laughs> they don't know when they done lost. Mm -hmm. That's why them folks they had to drop the bomb on because them folks didn't know how to stop. Mm -hmm. They said they wouldn't stop fighting you. Mm -hmm. They'll die. They'll die for their cause. Right. They don't know how to stop. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing I was seeing the other night. Who else did that too? All right. All right. No, somebody else did that. It might have been Japan. Yeah, it was Japan. They was the ones that I was reading last night that actually did that. They was trying to take over this whole area right here. Mm -hmm. They was trying to take over that. They actually went against China. They were trying to take over this whole area because they needed some, um, I think some rubber. They needed rubber for something. Mm -hmm. And they needed iron. And they had to get the iron from the U.S. Mm -hmm. And because they had went into the war, the U.S. started doing sanctions on Japan. And Japan didn't like the fact that they started putting up sanctions on them. So when they started putting up sanctions on them, that's when they went over and did what? Bomb Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. So they bombed Pearl Harbor so they felt like that was going to do what? That was going to do what? Slow down the U.S. Mm -hmm. Pearl Harbor was right here, right? Yeah, in Hawaii. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they bombed that so they felt that that was going to slow down the U.S. Mm -hmm. And that's when everybody in the U.S. came together and started making all them, you know, weapons, machinery, bombs and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's what happened with that. 
So yeah, that's where we're at now. Now, before we go, mm -hmm. one last thing. Um, did you feel it with that? Mm -hmm. um, well, we got verse, uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 17. Uh -huh. For God had put in, in their hearts to fulfill his will uh -huh. and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast uh -huh. until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Uh -huh. Verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city uh -huh. which reigned over the kings of the uh -huh. earth. Uh -huh. Read that one more time. Verse 18. And oh, yeah. Revelation chapter 17, <clears throat> verse 18. Mm -hmm. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city uh -huh. which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Give me 17 again. Verse 17. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will uh -huh. and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast mm -hmm. until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Uh -huh. So they could come, it looked like they could come into this thing. They could be already a part of this thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That means they're already a part of what? NATO. Mm -hmm. They could already be a part of NATO. But what did it say? Read that again. Verse 17. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will uh -huh. and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. And they gave their what? Their they gave their kingdom unto the beast mm -hmm. until what? Until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Until the word of God shall be fulfilled. Until the Lord say, now I'm going to put in their hearts to go against the beast. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying Japan and all these other nations are already a part of this thing. Mm -hmm. And they're going to turn. They're going to turn on you. Yeah, that was um, where we saw in, in Revelation 18 where it said, for in one hour. Right. So great riches has come to naught. It's, it's in one hour. Everything one hour. will change. Mm -hmm. It's just in one hour. Mm -hmm. Your, your uh, cryptocurrencies, your bitcoins, mm -hmm. your dollar. Dollar bills. One hour will be gone. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to end right here. Oh, Lord God. Uh, any questions? Um, I feel a little relief. <coughs> I feel a little relief from what? From the word. Mm -hmm. To know that the Lord said he got what? He said, I got this thing in my hand. Don't you worry. Right. I got this thing taken care of. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need to do is just keep the mark of God on your what? On your forehead. On your forehead. But he knows that he knows the difference between those that serve him. And those who serve him not. He said, not one hand on your head going to get what? Cinched. Ain't gonna worry about Burn. it. <laughs> That's what we had today. Mm -hmm. I had a lot more I wanted to add to this, but we'll pick it up next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.